Hello everyone. This is the part 2 of the topic types of wood. In the last video we covered the topic spring wood and autumn wood. As the age of the tree increases, more and more spring wood and autumn wood are formed by the activity of vascular cambium. So the question is does all the wood remains functional all the time for transport of water and minerals? The answer is no. and this brings us to the second category of wood that we are going to see that is hardwood and sapwood as you can see in the animation on the right hand side the central part of the tree is much darker while the peripheral part is relatively lighter the sapwood also known as alburnum is represented by the lighter peripheral part and is the functional wood for conduction of sap the lumen of vessels are unblocked and hence they are functional the sap wood is relatively soft and not very durable due to the presence of living cells of xylem parenchyma as more wood is formed the existing sap wood is converted into hard wood this conversion occurs by the extension of xylem parenchyma into the lumen of the vessels As a result the lumen gets blocked and becomes non-functional. These blocking structures are called tyloses or tracheal plugs. The relatively darker color of the hardwood is due to the depositions of different type of substances which also makes this wood very hard, durable and resistant to microbial actions. The main function of this wood is to provide mechanical support to the tree. So the thickness of sap wood remains almost constant throughout the age of the tree while the thickness of hard wood keeps on increasing as the tree becomes older. So that is all for this video. In the last part you will learn about the differences between hard wood and soft wood. 